Hi, so this is the goal to model this uh, old school meet cyberpunk car and animate it with the help of drivers. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so I start out by deleting the cube and then I add a cylinder and I scale it out in Y. And here I realize I actually don't care for the scale this time, but you should. So I uh, cut one half off and mirror it instead. And then I use trying out to make the shape of the car and add in the grill. Then I add in some loop cuts that will be my seat position. And here I just shaping the car. And here we remove some faces. And here I shape up the seating position again with edge slide. And here I duplicate those uh, vertices on the side and make the to a separate part that I convert to a curve that I then give some depth to. And then I add a torus that will be the steering wheel. Uh, and I used to uh, change it, so I changed the exterior and interior instead. Because I think it's easy to control the shape of the torus in this way. So I try to place it where we want it. And added some material in here. I also do a bevel so we can get a nice way to see how the steering wheel turns. Time to add some more materials for the grill. And it's time to add the wheels. And I start out with a circle. And then I place it in place, scale it and start to shape it uh, to my liking. And I want pretty big tires. and. Uh, you may notice that the tires aren't attached to anything on the body, but it's the future, so it doesn't matter. This will work anyway, so don't worry about that. And these tires will also have uh, glowing lights uh, on the inside, and you will see later on how it works. So add some material and we do this before we uh, realize the mirror and duplicate the wheel so we don't need to do it several times. And here we add the turn color material that will glow up, glow up later on. But we start out with the setting of zero. And then it's time to apply the mirror modifier. Uh, and then add another mirror modifier that will also apply because we need um, several instances of the wheels. Okay, so now we have the car, so let's animate it. And we will do this with the help of uh, something called drivers. So we start off by selecting the wheel, and there are two wheels, so we need to separate them. So we tab into edit mode, press P, uh, and separate by loose parts. Something like that, and we can name this one uh, wheel front left, and this one should be wheel front right. Great, and then let's see. So we have the uh, we need to have the origin point in the middle. And I think this one is correct, but this one we need to set up. Just press um, right click and then choose set origin to center of mass. And, the, and we need to do the same thing here. Press P by loose part. Select this one, origin, center of mass. And this one is correct. And the wheel needs to set up also center of mass. And for the front, I actually want this to be, let's just add a new loop cut here and then uh, take that point and that point and set that to uh, shift S, cursor to selected and then right click origin to 3D cursor. So now I think we have all the point of origins. In the places that we want to. Okay, uh, when I turn the steering wheel, I want the wheels to turn. 
So uh, to start off with, I think we should press N and then go to item. And I want this only to be able to rotate in Y direction. So we lock them X and Y. And we see the scale and rotation is okay. And then we start out the left wheel. And then we go to, uh, I, I want this wheel to rotate around Z. So I hover over Z, right click and choose add driver. And now a menu appears and we can start out by cho choosing our object. And the um, steering wheel is the torus. And I want when I turn the torus, so I need to change the type to a uh, rotate around Y. Then I want something to happen. This we can start out by saying the variable that is tor torus. When that rotates, I want the wheel to rotate um, multiplied one time. Enter. So if we now start to rotate this one, I press R. You can see that it actually doing quite right. But it's kind of hard to rotate like this. So what I used to do is that I add a empty. So uh, we can just add an empty with plane axis. Press E, set, lift it up, scale it up. Okay, so now we can um, take the steering wheel. We can just rotate it to, to zero. And then we say, if we want a driver on Y, because it's how we're going to turn it. And we want this to, uh, we left the menu, so we just need to press edit the driver. And now we want to object the empty when this rotate around Z. And we want this to be multiplied one time. Okay, so let's check it out. So now we press R and Z. And as you can see, we can turn the wheel really, really far, but we don't like this. So we need to change this. So we can take our empty. We lock these two. And then we have the Z here. We can set it to zero again. And then we go down here where it says object constraint properties and add object constraint. And we want to limit rotation. And we want to limit rotation around Z. Uh, and I think the min should be minus 25 and the max should be maybe 25. Okay, so if we now try to rotate this one, yeah, it works like we want to. And you can see how the steering wheel and the wheel moves. So if you take the next one, we want this to rotate around Z as well. So we can right click, add a driver, and now we can choose the steering wheel or the empty, but to, to make it easy, I think we should have everything around the steering wheel. Uh, so we can take edit driver, and then we want to have the torus, and we want the type to be rotation around Y, and it's done. And we thread out, Try the empty out, so we rotated it, and it works like a charm. Does it look okay from top? Yes. So this is one way to use the drivers, and it's it's really powerful if you want to animate something. But you can almost add a driver to anything. So if you go down here on the this wheel, and we open up the materials, and we have a material that I called turn color. We can actually go down to mission strength, right click and add a driver. And like before, we choose the torus. We want this to react around Y rotation. And we want the variable to be, we, we, I used to start out with um, multiply with one and you see where it takes me. So if we now turn, you can see something happens. Let's go from to blue to red. 
So, but I, I want it to light up even more. So we select the wheel again, and now you can see uh, if I click left click one time, I can actually edit the variable in here. So we try to two. Yeah, it's light up, up even more. Can multiply it by five. What happens then? Okay, and now we select the empty, press R, rotate. Oops. Uh, press R and Z, and we can root it. You can see if you turn left, become orange, and right turns blue. So this is kind of cool, but if you look on the other side, it's the other way, and we don't want that. So we need to select this wheel. We take the turn color and make a copy of it, and we call this turn color R for right. And if you go down here, we need to edit the driver and we just add a minus. And now it reacts the other way. So if you now start to turn, R said, you can see how it actually do what we want it to do. Okay, so this is great. Uh, but now let's add some more details. For instance, if we turn the wheel, I want the whole body to roll. But first off, we, I want to select the padding and then select the body and press oops, Control P and parent to the object. Great. And then we select the body and I want it to rotate around Y. So we right click on Y and add a driver. And I want the object to be the torus and I want this to rotate around Y and I want it to start out as always. So let's see what's happening now. Rotate and it it drew too much. So if you go to one of the extreme like this and now we can edit this and I think we could change this to zero point two maybe so we just get uh and it actually rules the wrong way so we need to add a minus here as well something like this and as you can see the steering wheel doesn't move right now so we need to change that as well so we set this to zero, and then we select the steering wheel, and we select the body, and then we press Control P, set the parent to the object. So if we try this now again, select the empty R Z. So this is great. You can see how everything looks like we want to, and then we want also maybe. A little what do you call it drift on the whole car body so if you select the car body again again and we want it to rotate around said also so right click add a driver object the torus and then type rotation around y and multiply by one so what's happening now let's go to one of the extremes rotate so this is really really much and we don't want that so let's see the variable we need to change this maybe to 0 0.1 yeah okay so now it's just so if you look upon this from the top and we rotate you can see it actually have some nice movement to it okay great and the last thing i want to do is to fix the lights on the back wheels and also to set up that all the wheels turn when we move the car forward okay so select this one turn color duplicate it to uh, back wheels and when it's on the back i think it should we can just uh, delete the driver from the back and we set it to zero no, we don't set to zero, set it to five, and we change this to red. And we can set the base color to red as well. 
Yeah. And then we take the other wheel and we just change the color to uh, back wheels. Something like that. And I think we need to close this car as well. It cannot look like that. F, 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 F. Control R. And we have a chord F. Okay, great. So if we take this, set it to zero. So now if we move this forward, we want the whole car to follow. So we can start out by selecting the car and then selecting the empty, pressing Control P to parenting it to the object. So if I now move this, it moves, but we forgot the wheels. It's a shame. So we can select all the wheels and then the body, press Control P, set parent to object, select the empty, press G, Y, and it follow along nicely. And the steering wheel have some kind of movement. I'm not sure why, but okay. So now we need to uh, set up the wheel movement. So we take this wheel and we take, I want it to rotate around X. So we set the driver, add a driver, and this time we choose the object to be the empty. And we want the object uh, to care about the empty's Y location. And then we set the variable to X1. Uh, multiplied by one. So let's try it out. G, Y. And it's rotating the wrong way and a bit too fast. So we need to change this. Select the wheel. Oh, select the X plus minus. And I think we can zero point, oops, zero point three maybe. So how does this look? G, Y. Yeah, great. Great, 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 great. Okay, so we take the same variable. So we just copy this. Control C, select the back wheel, add a driver. Control V, and now it should work, right? But it didn't. And this is because that you cannot do like this because you need to add it to driver as well. So we need to choose the empty and we want to choose the Y location. And now it should work. Yeah, great. So let's just do it for the other side. A repetition is always good. So you learn how to do it. So let's just add a driver. And we want it to be the empty and we want to be the Y location and we want it to be that formula. So let's try. Will it work like we want to? Yeah. Great. And the last tire. Rotate around X, add a driver, the variable to be the empty and Y location and change expression. Enter. So now if you take this one, G, Y, the car rules along fine. Now I think you understand the strength with the drivers. I think this work, it look a bit cool and you can really, you have made a drift car. Okay, so this is how you make an old school cyberpunky car with the drivers to help it with it, its animations. Thanks for watching. Bye.